Hello YouTube, welcome to Market Watch. Is that time of the week we talk about the Digimon card game market? Uh, forgive my voice. My allergies are killing me today for some reason. So uh, don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm okay. I'm gonna be fine. That's all. But my voice is a little bit lower than normal. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not like dying. Maybe maybe I am, but it's just allergies. It's okay. This is the time of the week we talk about the Digimon card game market, and BT13 is out now. And BT13 has done some very interesting things with the market, which we need to discuss. In addition to that, there were some cards last week that we talked about, that we also need to talk about today, because there's been some modifications in those cards. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and please like, comment, subscribe to the notification bell to smash potatoes, that way you know when all these amazing Digimon videos do come out. For the Omnimo market here, there's nothing too much to report. Uh, not too much has changed except for the new ones, which we'll talk about in a bit. But with Omnimons in general, nothing really has happened. So that's kind of okay. Nothing to be deal. Here we have BT13. This is page 2 of TCG Player. If you guys are looking at page 2 here, you'll notice that this is the most expensive super rare in the set. And this is the most expensive box topper in the set. Everything else is cheaper than this in the set. Which is really interesting. And some alt arts in the set are just... Dog water like uh, Leopard Mon Altart, Examon Altart, Lord Knight Altart. It is kind of depressing, really. Now, here's what's happening with this set and why everything is so low. It's actually quite simple. Everyone opened the set. Uh, this is one of the most open sets in the Digimon trading card game. Uh, I have I have got reports from stores that have opened a lot more for singles than usual. I have a lot of players that said that a lot of people bought a lot more of the set than usual. So everyone is opening this set. And now when everyone opens the set, you know, people, it'll be cheap because everyone's trying to undercut each other, right? Everyone's undercutting, everyone keeps undercutting, everyone keeps undercutting. So we don't have expensive super rares like we had in BT8, like BT12. Um, and that's okay. You know, it's not a bad thing. If everyone opened the set more often... Digimon would be a lot cheaper. But, um, you know, we have to talk about some cards on the list. Like, uh, Alphamon Altart, for instance. Unfortunately, there's no picture here for any of the Altarts. It's a TCG player. I don't know why, but whatever. Um, Alphamon Altart is $65 right now. It shot up. It exploded. It used to be a lot cheaper. Uh, this, this is a little thing I have to call YouTuber Influence. So, uh, while um, I've been talking very highly about Alphamon the last few days... A vault went ahead and also made a deck profile on this channel for it, and that did cause the card to get bought out. But that was that was the tipping point, and this is just something that we have to live with in the world. It is just YouTuber influence, you know. If people get excited over a deck, the money will follow. People's wallets will be thrown at what is exciting and what's cool. There's nothing we can do about that. You guys can try to get ahead of the market, try to get ahead of it, and see if you make money off of it, because it's happened before. I know I've done deck profiles and things have shot up. A vault has. Other YouTubers have. It's just the way it is. So that's kind of okay. Like, it's just something I gotta expect. But anyway, if you don't have Altart off of BT13 and you're interested in it, at this point in time, you just wait for the hype to fall off. If you have them, now you sell them. That's it. Next up, we have Omnimon. You need four of this secret rare to play Royal Knights, and thankfully, it's just been going down a little bit. Uh, and might even continue to go down a little bit. You know, Royal Knights isn't the best deck of the format or anything. Kind of like how Examon wasn't the best deck of the format. What I find interesting is that um, Examon was more expensive than Omnimon, and you needed four of it. The reason why is because, again, a lot more people opened BT13 than uh, the EX set that Examon was in. And in addition to that, when there's more of that, you know, people will be cracking this open. There'll be more Omnimons flying around. So that's okay. It's not really a big deal. Uh, you might be able to get it cheaper in $26 if you keep looking. Uh, I don't expect this to go much lower, though, honestly. Next up is Gallantmon. And Gallantmon here uh, has kind of plateaued at $20. Bucks. It's just kind of there. It's kind of chilling there in the $20 range now. Uh, time will tell and meta usage will tell what happens to this card. This is one of those cards that you could play in anything. I use those very loosely because, you know, 
it, in certain decks is better than not, right? Yeah, you can play it, the costs are reduced by cards and trash, and then it removes stuff and has rush. It's a very like decent card for sure. It just kind of depends on who's going to play it and what's going to happen with it. You can play it in Royal Knights, you can play it in Gallimon, and as we found on the stream yesterday, you can even play it in Chaos Gallimon. But there's other decks too that I can go into, right? Because it is it, it is just a, a generic removal. It's, it's a splashable card. So this might affect the price down the road on it. Just keep an eye on it for now, honestly. Magnamon Altart uh, is also going up in price. Uh, it was actually one of the most expensive alternate arts in the set originally. And still kind of is. People And people are buying it. People are into it. They are into it. Um, this will go down eventually. But you, you need four of this to play the Royal Knight deck. You, you need you need four of it. In addition to that, if you're playing like Armor Rush, you also need four of this card. So it is sought after. Plus, out of all the alternate arts in the set, it just so happens that the alternate art like pattern they use for BT13 Royal Knights looks better on like Magma Mon than anything else, in my opinion. So that's going to cost the price, too, to also make it kind of expensive. So for now, if you don't have this card, I don't think you get it. I think you sell it if you have it for two bucks and leave it alone there. That's it. We have the Shine Greymon Burst Mode being the most expensive card super rare in the set at six seventy nine. dollars um, This card will probably stay a little bit pricey for a little bit because we do have a BT13 Regionals uh, this weekend. We do. Yeah, uh, the PPG Regionals is BT13. And then the following week are all the Gen Con events, both online and IRL. So, like, BT13 is going to start off very strong with events. And then, for us, it's going to taper off a little bit. But, yeah, uh, for now, uh, it's just going to be an expensive card. Expensive. Not even that expensive. We've had Super Wars before that are way more than this. But, you know, it, it's, it, it is what it is. You grab them for the deck. Regular Alphamon here. Uh, five bucks. Four and a half, five bucks. You know, that's it. Uh, this Super Rare, I believe, got down to $3. When the set came out on um, Friday, and uh, maybe a little bit of Alphamon hype did cause a little bit of a spike. But the deck is good, and you need it in Royal Knights too, so there is some sought after stuff going on with Alphamon here. Balfamon. I bring up Balfamon because, unlike everything else in the set, there are only 15 listings of Balfamon Rage Mode left. Now, I'm fully expecting there to be more stock on this. I am. And people have been buying it, so like people are stocking regularly on this card. But like this card could get bought out. People could use this to their advantage and like sell Balfamon Rage Mode at a, at a ridiculous price. Just keep this timestamp in mind, this $3 price tag in mind, because this could get bought out like literally like after this video. And then, then shit could go down with this card, for lack of better terminology. All right. War Dream on Box Topper Ace card. This is three dollars. The Malga one is also very similar here. Um, these cards will be worth nothing once the starter deck comes out. In addition to that, the Ace cards aren't going to see a whole lot of play right now. I don't think too many people are thinking about Malga right now, and um, War Dream on Ace. You know, you can play it in the Dream on decks, but like not everyone is excited to play it in the Dream on decks right now. So, like, it's probably going to go down in price. It's a box topper. They were fairly easy to pull. Like, if you open a case, you got six and six of each. Like, that's... Th these things will be flying everywhere. I probably wouldn't hold on to them right now, if it was me. Uh, Marcus Damon, Yoshino, and Thomas are the most expensive uh, Altart Tamers in the set. Yeah, which is nice, because I pulled a lot of Thomases and Yoshinos, if you guys saw it on my stream. I pulled a lot of these, too. I only pulled, like, three Marcus two cases. But I pulled, like, a lot of these. Uh, regardless, these are your expensive ones. And uh, if you pull them, it's good. Because these are like your meta cards, right? Marcus will see play because of Shine Greymon. This will see play because of Bloom Lord and Rosemon. This will see play because of Mirage Galgamon. The other ones are just what? Like the, the Ravemon one, the, the Chessmon one, and the Kentaurusmon one. And like, th those aren't super exciting decks. Those decks don't titillate me, and they don't titillate a lot of people either. But the, these first three tamers do get people excited. So uh, they'll probably be a little bit of money for now, and then they'll go down in price eventually. So don't like it. Don't get super worried about it if you didn't grab it before it got expensive. Uh, Greymon here, four hundred dollars for this version of Greymon. 
less and less people are playing it, so it's causing the price to come down price, which is good. Uh, it's getting to a point where it might be reasonable to actually grab this card. Uh, Agumon X Melee is actually going down in price. It was in the 60s and now it's in the 50s, which is super interesting. Uh, I think people are like, realizing you don't really, you don't have to play this Shine Greymon. It still leaves the Greymon decks, obviously, and then BT14 has Agumon Greymon supporting it. This card ain't going down too much, but like, this is a reprieve and maybe a sign that it might go even lower than this a little bit. So that's nice. That's really cool. Check out Marcus here. Marcus on the down. I think people are really scared about um, a potential ban list. Uh, one Piece just had one. So I think it's fair to assume that Digimon will be following suit very soon. Uh, and while these are newer sellers kind of undercutting the market here, it, it, you can grab Marcus's for this price. I, and I do believe there's a slight element of panic in it. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, it's down. Maybe keep that in mind. Uh, Tai Kamiya, on the opposite end, is going up. This one we kind of called last week. It would go up in price of the Rise of the Greymon decks, and sure enough. Yeah, you sure did. I hope you got some cards of it, because now it's going to get expensive. Now it's going to be ridiculous for a bit. Uh, event pack, four cards. Be patient. Your time is almost here to grab these cards. Okay, so just uh, just be a little bit patient. Be a little bit patient. We have Goblin X Anti Body. I literally called this one last week. I told you this. There's no reason for this card to be so cheap, with Metal Gurumon support on the rise, and sure enough, people acted on it, and now it got bought out. Now, now uh, you have two choices. You can gamble a little bit and see if it's going to hit the Agu X levels of like 60 bucks, and then sell. Or you can like cash in now, make a huge amount of profit if you had them for like, you know, 10, 20 bucks. Sell now. That's up to you. I'd probably sell now if it was me and just get the guaranteed profit. This says hype price. It may just go down eventually. Or who knows? Maybe people are actually realizing the value of this card and maybe it'll stay expensive. Time will tell. We have the Rome Lights Hakamon that is just shooting up in price. Uh, Jessmon is good. Well, it's just not like tier zero meta defining good, but like it's a good deck in BT13. And people are really excited about it. I'd let the hype go for now. Don't bother with this card. And finally, uh, this Jellymon and the other ones were released as Winter Pack Rome Knight promotion cards, alternate arts. Uh, this will help the price of these cards. And these will just be the more expensive ones now because there's just going to be less of them. But that's really cool that they actually reprinted these cards and gave alt arts. That will help for the Rising Wind set in September uh, when this comes out. And uh, that's, all I, that's all that's on everyone's mind. That's it for today's Market Watch. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I will see you later. Bye!